Welcome to Love Shouldn't Hurt, a televised event to raise funds and awareness for Samaritan House presented by Langley Federal Credit Union. I'm Kristen Crowley and I am honored to be your host for the evening. Tonight, we'll be joined by local victims of domestic violence and human trafficking who will be sharing their inspiring stories of survival. Along the way, we'll also have some exciting guest appearances as well. Samaritan House holds a close place to my own heart. Being in the local media here in Hampton Roads, I spent a lot of time working with local charities. I was fortunate enough to go into Samaritan House and see what they really did behind the scenes. After seeing the increase in numbers in human trafficking and the alarming rates that that was happening in our area, I knew that there was more that I could do to help. So I've been honored to be able to be a part of Samaritan House's charity events for the past several years, and I'm so honored to be with you here again tonight. And thankfully, we have organizations like Samaritan House to help those in crisis right here in Hampton Roads. Now, Samaritan House is the leading provider of emergency housing and support services for victims of domestic violence, sexual assault, human trafficking, and for families at risk of losing their homes right here in Hampton Roads. Now, founded in 1984 to help homeless families in Virginia Beach, Samaritan House quickly realized many of the individuals being served actually felt safer on the streets because of the domestic violence they were facing at home. So the original mission expanded to include services for individuals and families experiencing homelessness and even extreme violence. Now, you'll see throughout the program, Samaritan House provides so much more than housing. Whether counseling, victim advocacy, or assistance from their food pantry, Samaritan House provides a holistic approach to healing, and they help remove all the obstacles stopping a victim from leaving their abuser. Now, throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, Samaritan House has never ceased their operations. They continue to answer every call to their hotline, to provide comprehensive services to those in need, and to work with our community partners to help all of those facing violence. In fact, they experienced an 86% increase in demand for their services. Now, that need is staggering, and we anticipate the demand to continue through 2021 until the pandemic is under control. Samaritan House is not alone in their efforts to help victims of violence throughout Hampton Roads. Joining us today with a few quick words is Norfolk City Councilwoman Andrea McClellan. Thanks so much, Kristen, and I'm so excited to be here with you tonight. I really loved the time that I spent serving on the board of Samaritan House. It's an incredible organization that does so much good work in our community. I was raised by a single mom in Virginia Beach who juggled multiple jobs to make ends meet for my brother and me. So I understand what it's like uh, to have those challenges uh, and to be able to help homeless families and victims of domestic violence as Samaritan House does so well. It's just such a critical component of our community. So thank you for the good work of the team and the staff there. And I hope that you will join my husband and me as we support Samaritan House tonight. It's such an important cause. Thanks so much. Now it takes an entire community to make a difference. So thank you so much, Councilwoman McClellan, for joining us today. Now I'd like to introduce you to Jenna, a brave woman that I had the pleasure of spending some time with to hear her courageous story as a survivor of human trafficking. My name is Jenna. I am a survivor that received help from Samaritan House, and this is my story. At a very young age, I was raped in and out of foster homes around two. I was brought into a home and adopted at age four. The abuse in my home lasted up till I was 11 years old. I was physically, mentally, verbally abused. I was sent to a treatment center and that's where I was heavily drugged. Called me unstable. They didn't feed you at all. So that's how I ended up going into the group home where I was again abused by the adults and the children there. When I was in the group home, I met two girls and I trusted these two girls that were supposed to be my friends. They told me I could get an apartment and this guy could help me. They knew how bad I wanted to get out of that group home. So I said, yes, I was excited. When I met him, he treated me very nicely at first. 
bought me clothes, shoes, fed me, called me his girl. And that's how I fell in the trap of human trafficking. I asked friends and family for help, but everybody told me I could use the pimp for money. And I felt hurt because I was asking for help and nobody would listen to me. Living with a pimp was terrible. He was controlling money, where I went, what clothes I wore. He cut my hair off. Just really made me not who I was. I was abused, forced to have sex. He made me watch women get raped on TV, locked me in the bathroom. I was forced to get an abortion with him. The clinic did not seem legitimate at all. It was very dirty, not in a very safe area. They gave me some medicine straight away. I was brought into the back, forced down, and had the abortion. I was three months pregnant when I got the abortion. Trying to escape was not easy. He threatened to kill my family, my nieces. He held guns into my mouth, to the side of my head. I was scared every day of my life. So that's why I had such a hard time trying to escape. How I got away from my pimp and into Samaritan House, I fought my way out. One day, I was just fed up with all of it. When I finally found the courage, I called my mom through 7-Eleven, told her I had enough, I want to get out, and I'm going to confront him. So I went to his house and confronted him and noticed I was doing the wrong thing. I shouldn't confront him. So I went back to 7-Eleven, called my mom back, and that's when a police officer tapped me on the shoulder. I didn't know. My mom called the police, and they brought me back home safely. And at that moment, I felt like the biggest relief of all because I was finally out of the mess, out of human trafficking. I signed up for therapy, and the therapist had mentioned that Homeland Security Investigations, which is HSI, they could help me with my case. My HSI workers, they introduced me to Katie. She is my case manager from Samaritan House. Katie helped me with getting off the streets. She was like, we have a shelter that you could go to. It's safe. I finally felt like I found somebody that understood what I went through. Samaritan House helped me with getting medication, with getting therapy. They had painting groups, which really helped me out when I was feeling down. They really helped me when I was pregnant with my daughter. They gave me daycare, clothes, a bed to sleep in, food. I've transitioned from the shelter to a beautiful apartment. I got two beautiful kids. I got a wonderful man that supports us. I've got a car. I felt freedom because out of my situation, I got to go to college. So they help with so much. Everything's just moving forward for me. My life is amazing and I'm really happy. Samaritan House made me feel like someone actually cared. I felt like I could get back to the right spot in my life, start over, become a new me. I just want to teach everybody and my kids that don't be afraid, don't give up, and stay strong. Because I never want my kids to go through or anybody to go through what I went through. If anybody's in the situation or has trouble, go to Samaritan House. Wow, thank you so much for sharing your story, Jenna. What an incredible story of perseverance and survival. Now, Samaritan House does not pretend to do everything alone. They rely on individuals and groups within the community to continue their mission. Now, in 2017, the Hampton Roads Human Trafficking Task Force was actually formed by Virginia Attorney General Mark Herring. Now, working together to combat human trafficking in our region, the task force is made up of the Virginia Office of the Attorney General, Department of Homeland Security, U.S. Attorney's Office for the Eastern District of Virginia, local law enforcement, and Samaritan House as the only nonprofit provider 
of all of these services. Now, since the task force inception, Samaritan House has been able to assist more than, listen to this, 225 victims of human trafficking and have become the leading resource for housing and services for victims of trafficking right here in southeastern Virginia. Now, I'd like to take the time to introduce our next guest, the Attorney General of Virginia, the Honorable Mark Herring, whose leadership started the task force in our region. It is because of Mr. Herring's vision that Samaritan House has been able to help so many, just like Jenna. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Attorney General. Well, hello, Kristen, and thank you so much for having me. My team and I have partnered with Samaritan House for a number of years now in our ongoing effort to combat human trafficking in the Commonwealth. In 2017, we launched the Hampton Roads Human Trafficking Task Force, which has done fantastic work combating human trafficking and bringing perpetrators of this heinous crime to justice. And Samaritan House played an integral role in the creation of the task force and has been a key partner in our efforts. Human trafficking robs its victims of their identity, their dignity, their freedom, and in a tragic number of cases, their childhood. And the reality is, human trafficking continues to be a problem across the country and right here in Virginia. Victims can be men or women, young or old. They can be U.S. citizens or immigrants brought here, either against their will or under false promises of money or opportunity. Human trafficking is a dehumanizing crime that calls for a comprehensive response in order to restore victims to safety and well-being and hold traffickers accountable. But the coordinated, victim-centered approach that we've taken, with Samaritan House's help, has made a huge difference in the lives of victims that have been identified in the Hampton Roads area. And this work has seen an unmistakable signal that Virginia will not tolerate human trafficking. Supporting and protecting victims of human trafficking and making sure they know there are people who are here to help them is just so important. And Samaritan House does just that by providing crucial services for victims of human trafficking, giving them resources, and the people that they talk to and providing a safe space during such a dark time. So I really can't thank Samaritan House enough for the work you do each and every day to support survivors of domestic and sexual violence and human trafficking, and for stepping up and being a founding partner for the Hampton Roads Human Trafficking Task Force. And I look forward to our continued partnership as we work to rid Virginia of human trafficking once and for all. Thank you so much, Attorney General, for your support and the work you do with the Hampton Roads Human Trafficking Task Force. Now, with your support, Samaritan House will be able to help another 200 plus victims of human trafficking in the future. We want you to take some time right now. Please text SAM, S-A-M, to 50155. You can also take some time to donate online at SamaritanHouseVA.org or call 757-631-0710 to help show your support. And we hope you take some time to make those donations. Now coming up, we have even more moving stories from Samaritan House clients, so stay with us. My son was not gonna be an abuser. My daughter wasn't going to see me get abused. I feel like I was emotionally abused. I had to ask my husband to use funds for certain things. Save your money for the things that matter by paying no closing costs. Refinance your mortgage with Langley and we will lower your monthly payment. Give yourself more money for your future engineer. With Langley, save more when you refinance your mortgage. At Newport News Shipbuilding, we're proud to be part of the Hampton Roads community and proud to support Samaritan House. Newport News Shipbuilding, a division of Huntington Ingalls Industries. This door, made with layers of wood, locks and bolts, meant to keep us safe and the evil away did the opposite. Every time I tried to leave this door, 
I couldn't until I walked through the door of Samaritan House. They helped us feel safe and find a new door. It's likely that domestic violence affects someone you know and love. Support victims by texting SAM to 50155 or visit SamaritanHouseVA.org. Praise never stop. This is your time to be essential, to be unstoppable. Tidewater Tech trains men and women for essential trades careers. Visit TideTechWorks.com. We're excited to be here on behalf of GFL's Full Circle Project to present this $10,000 check to the Samaritan House. We're excited to be able to continue to be a partner with you all. On behalf of Samaritan House, I want to thank you all for your continued support year after year. Welcome back to Love Shouldn't Hurt. Soon, Shannon and Kenya, two more survivors of violence, will be joining us to help share their stories. We're also very excited to have Adam Huss and Adam Bucci join us with some words of support. Now, here's some ways that you can help victims like Jenna. We want you to text SAM, S-A-M, to 50155. You can donate online at SamaritanHouseVA.org or call the number right now, 757-631-631. 0710, and this is all to help show support right here in our own community. Now, I had the privilege of meeting our next guest at a Samaritan House event just a few years ago, actually. She shared her harrowing story of survival and how she went from being a victim to an advocate. I'd like to take the time to welcome Sergeant Lannis Jaluso of the Virginia Beach Police Department. Hello, Sergeant. It's so nice to see you again. Hello, Kristen. Thank you so much for allowing me to join you. You know, as a Virginia Beach police officer, I have investigated hundreds of domestic violence cases involving children, women, and men. And during the course of some of these investigations, I have witnessed the Samaritan House firsthand, not only respond out in the middle of the night when I called them, but I have seen them follow through with families and individuals days and weeks afterwards, providing them with the support and resources they need for lasting results. Unfortunately, domestic violence is severely underreported. And for that reason, I ask all of you to think about the people in your communities. Maybe you suspect someone is in a violent relationship. Don't assume that someone has already provided them with resources or that they know about the Samaritan house, be brave and show up for them. Unfortunately, a lot of these individuals, they believe that they don't deserve happiness. They don't deserve freedom. And that's just not the case. So again, I challenge you, show up in their lives, connect them with the Samaritan house. You may be the very key to their freedom. Thank you again for joining us, Sergeant. And as always, thank you so much for keeping our community safe. Now, given the uncertain times that we're living in today, we decided to create this unique event as a way for you to support the critical work being done at Samaritan House. So take the time right now, pick up your phone, text SAM, S-A-M, to 50155. You can also donate online at SamaritanHouseVA.org or call us at 757-631-0710. And this is all to show your support. Now, stay tuned because we have a special story from someone who went from client all the way to volunteer. You don't want to miss this story coming up. The abuse started two years before I had my daughter. I was with him on and off for 16 years. What are you going to do with your life? Do what you like. Do what you love. Do what's important to you. Do the things others don't. Dream about what's right for me and we. And 
us, then go do it. And know that we are here to listen, to understand, and turn your do into done. Dollar Bank, let's get you there. Praise never stop. This is your time to be essential, to be unstoppable. Tidewater Tech trains men and women for essential trades careers. Visit TideTechWorks.com. This door, made with layers of wood, locks and bolts, meant to keep us safe and the evil away, did the opposite. Every time I tried to leave this door, I couldn't until I walked through the door of Samaritan House. They helped us feel safe and find a new door. It's likely that domestic violence affects someone you know and love. Support victims by texting SAM to 50155 or visit SamaritanHouseVA.org. At Newport News Shipbuilding, we're proud to be part of the Hampton Roads community and proud to support Samaritan House. Newport News Shipbuilding, a division of Huntington Ingalls Industries. excited to be here on behalf of GFL's Full Circle Project to present this $10,000 check to the Samaritan House. We're excited to be able to continue to be a partner with you all. On behalf of Samaritan House, I want to thank you all for your continued support year after year. Save your money for the things that matter by paying no closing costs. Refinance your mortgage with Langley and we will lower your monthly payment. Give yourself more money for your future engineer. With Langley, save more when you refinance your mortgage. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're tuning in to Love Shouldn't Hurt, presented by Langley Federal Credit Union. My name is Kristen Crowley, and we're highlighting how Samaritan House helps members of the Hampton Roads community by providing emergency housing and support services for victims of domestic violence, sexual assault, and human trafficking in Hampton Roads. So take some time. Text the word SAM, S-A-M, to 50155. You can donate right now online at SamaritanHouseVA.org or pick up your phone and call 757-631. 0710, and this is all to help show your support. Now, I have the distinct honor of welcoming our next special guest, the Mayor of Norfolk, Mayor Kenny Alexander. It's great to see you, Mayor Alexander, and welcome to Love Shouldn't Hurt. And I am proud to voice my support for Samaritan House. There are 14 safe houses. They provide emergency shelter for individuals and families. They also work with you to establish healthy relationships build self-confidence, and break the cycle of violence. Let's continue to support their incredible work and mission to foster personal safety, growth, and self-sufficiency in adults and their children through freedom from abuse, human trafficking, and homelessness. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor, and it is always a pleasure to speak with you. Now, our next guest coming up is Shannon, who is a former client of Samaritan House, who now volunteers with the organization. She's going to be sharing her experience with others who are going through those similar ordeals that she did. My name is Shannon. I learned about Samaritan House 16 years ago, and this is my story. As a young woman, I was pretty quiet, was very unsure of myself, and I had a sheltered life. I had a lot of disappointment with my mom. She was very controlling. 
and my dad had died when I was 16. I knew I wanted to do something. I wanted to have a family. I met this person. I thought he was everything to me, but I was so confused because it wasn't like it was in a movie. He was just as controlling, so it felt comfortable in a sense. I was with him on and off for 15, 16 years. I would leave and I'd go back. It became a pattern. I was looking for something that I didn't have. I didn't have a father. I was looking for something stable, and I thought that was it. The abuse started about two years before I had my daughter. I had gotten sick, and I had an asthma attack. He was sleeping, and he wouldn't wake up. I had to hail a cab and get to the hospital all by myself. I came back, I was so angry at him. I said, you let me go to the hospital by myself. I could have died. And he got up and he started hitting me and hitting me. He not only did physical abuse, it was financial and it was emotional abuse. He had always told me that if we were to break up, that I'd probably end up like a prostitute in the streets because I couldn't function any other way. I steadily grew more and more depressed, and he was more and more abusive. He would say mean things about me and around me. I felt stupid because he didn't have a good impression of me. I was book smart, and I was never a person to hang out. He knew all my insecurities, and he played them. When I had my daughter, she wasn't abused per se, but she did view it. She saw it, she heard it, and it changed her. I hold not only him responsible for that, I hold myself. When I finally decided to leave, I was pregnant with my son. I thought I was gonna leave and stay gone, but he was so happy to have his son, and he promised he would change and he would go to therapy. There was a part of me that was afraid that they wouldn't have a father because I didn't have a father, and I knew what it felt like. I said my son was not going to be an abuser. My daughter wasn't going to see me get abused or see me sad and depressed over that mess anymore. 16 years ago, I was introduced to Samaritan House when I was getting help with my daughter for her childcare. A lady was talking to me and she said, if you ever needed help, go to Samaritan House. I went through these Thursday night groups and there were all these ladies there. We all had different paths, but it was like the same common denominator. Rebecca was my case manager. She never let me put myself down. She said, you had enough of people putting you down. I'm not gonna let you do that to yourself. When I left Samaritan House and went back to my abuser, Samaritan House always welcomed me. They understood that it's not easy to leave a situation. It's not easy to leave someone that you care about. They never judged me. I never felt condemned. They had done so much for me. They made sure that I was mentally healthy. They provided me with a counselor. They screened my daughter to see if she needed anything. The roommate that I had at Samaritan House, I think that was my saving grace, to have someone else who was an adult in the shelter. She showed me her life as a teacher, and I liked how her life fit with her kids. It was from there I started thinking about being a teacher and how working with special needs children might be part of my calling. When I moved out of shelter into a place that Samaritan House helped me with, they brought me a crib for my son. It's the most beautiful crib ever. It had all the little things that babies need in there. It made me feel like my son was going to be okay. And I was really grateful for that. I eventually decided to go to school. I got my degree in special ed. I became a teacher. My kids 
are doing well. My son is 15 now, and he's just grown into such a good young man. My daughter, she's so kind and sweet. Sometimes I worry because I look at her and I'm like, what kind of man is she gonna get? She's made pretty good choices. So, you know, I guess all that I've been working for hasn't been in vain. I am very proud, proud of my kids. I'm proud of myself. I'm grateful to God. I'm grateful to Samaritan House. What made me decide to volunteer at Samaritan House was now that I'm on the other side. I just wanted to help people going through the same thing I went through. I know what it's like. And if I can encourage somebody that they're going to be okay, they're in a good place, and they have people pulling for them. What I would tell someone who's in abusive relationships to not isolate themselves, to build a village. Some days you're gonna cry, and some days you might be happy, and some days you might feel lost, but you have to move through the days. At the end of it, you're better for it, you're stronger for it, you're wiser, you have more to offer yourself. What you're going through doesn't make you less than a person, it just means that you're strong for surviving what you have and that you'll continue to survive. Wow. Thank you for sharing your story with us today, Shannon. What an incredible and inspiring journey. I loved hearing how you reconnected with your case manager even all these years later. Now, I'm sure your story can give hope to those watching who may be thinking of getting help but haven't quite made the move just yet. Now, Shannon said that Samaritan House never judged her for returning to her abuser. Did you know that it can take up to nine attempts before someone actually leaves their abuser for good? Nine. Samaritan House staff understands this. And each time Shannon went back with her abuser, Samaritan House continued to offer that much needed support. Now Samaritan House knows the difficult struggles victims like Shannon face and will work with them even if they choose to return to their abuser. Samaritan House will still be available when the victim is ready to tell their story. Now this is one reason why they're able to help so many people in need. Now tonight has been an emotional and inspiring evening so far, but we have so much more to come. Wow, Samaritan House just does amazing work and the level of support they provide us is truly remarkable. In fact, last year alone, Samaritan House assisted 336 individuals with emergency shelter. It's a pretty big number right here in our own community, right? With your support, they can continue to reach so many more. Now, if you've not done so yet, please take the time and text SAM, S-A-M, to 50155. You can donate right now online at SamaritanHouseVA.org or call us at 757-631-0710. And please, just continue to show your support. Coming up next, some great conversations with stars from the hit TV series Power and the Netflix series Eastsiders. You don't want to miss it. Stay with us. Domestic violence is not just a straight thing and it doesn't just affect poor communities. Praise never stop. This is your time to be essential, to be unstoppable. Tidewater Tech trains men and women for essential trades careers. Visit TideTechWorks.com. This door, made with layers of wood, locks and bolts, meant to keep us safe and the evil away, did the opposite. Every time I tried to leave this door, I couldn't until I walked through the door of Samaritan House. They helped us feel safe and find a new door. It's likely that domestic violence affects someone you know and love. Support victims by texting SAM to 50155 or visit SamaritanHouseVA.org. excited to be here on behalf of GFL's Full Circle Project to present this $10,000 check to the Samaritan House. We're excited to be able to continue to be a partner with you all. On behalf of Samaritan House, I want to thank you all for your continued support year after year.
Save your money for the things that matter by paying no closing costs. Refinance your mortgage with Langley and we will lower your monthly payment. Give yourself more money for your future engineer. With Langley, save more when you refinance your mortgage. What are you going to do with your life? Do what you like. Do what you love. Do what's important to you. Do the things others don't. Dream about what's right for me and we and us. Then go do it. And know that we are here to listen, to understand, and turn your do into done. Dollar Bank. Let's get you there. At Newport News Shipbuilding, we're proud to be part of the Hampton Roads community and proud to support Samaritan House. Newport News Shipbuilding, a division of Huntington Ingalls Industries. Welcome back to Love Shouldn't Hurt, a televised event to support Samaritan House brought to you by Langley Federal Credit Union. Now, for those of you just tuning in, tonight we're speaking to survivors of violence about their inspirational stories of survival. We've also been joined by some important allies and partners of Samaritan House whose support enables their mission to move forward. We want to encourage you right now, take the time to text SAM, S-A-M, to 50155. You can also donate online at SamaritanHouseVA.org or give us a call, 757-631-0710. These are just those three ways that you can show your support. Now, I'm very excited to welcome two such allies, actor, producer, and writer Adam Huss, best known for his role as Josh Cantos in the Stars TV series Power, and even as Lance on The Bold and the Beautiful, and his husband, writer, producer, and actor Adam Bucci, whose TV and film credits were kicked off with his performances as Trevor on the daytime Emmy-nominated Eastsiders, now streaming on Netflix, along with the romantic comedy The Ten-Year Plan, which appeared in over 50 film festivals worldwide, and it even won 10 awards. So welcome, Adam and Adam. It's so nice to meet you both. Thank you, Kristen. It is our honor to participate in this event. Adam and I are really impressed with the work being done at Samaritan House to help victims of violence in all forms. Domestic violence is not just a straight thing and it doesn't just affect poor communities. It affects all of us. Domestic violence affects one in three women and one in four men. Chances are you probably know someone that's been in a violent relationship. Sadly, uh, those numbers are even greater in the LGBTQ community. More than 50% of gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender people will experience some form of intimate partner violence in their lifetime. And only 26% of those victims reach out for help. That's why organizations like Samaritan House are so important in our community. Violence doesn't discriminate, and neither does Samaritan House. Yeah, Samaritan House offers services free from discrimination. If you or someone you know is in a violent relationship, we implore you to please seek help. All right, thank you so much, Adam and Adam, for joining us this evening. And we want to especially thank you for your support. You guys are right. Violence affects all of us, regardless of age, race, gender, and even sexual orientation. Our next guest, while working with the Samaritan House team, shows us that not only does violence not discriminate, it also takes shape in many forms. So please join me in welcoming Kenya. I'm Kenya, and this is my story. Life was actually pretty great prior to meeting my abuser. I worked full time. I had a teenager. I had a great group of friends. Growing up, I saw my parents' marriage as goals. 
I knew that that's what I wanted my life to look like with my partner. Us building together and making decisions together and compromising and investing in each other's happiness. Those were the things that I felt were important in a marriage. When I met my abuser, I was 26. I ran into him at a mutual friend's party. We promptly started dating and things started off pretty normal. I started noticing changes shortly after we moved in together. He would stay out all night, wouldn't come home till 7 a.m. I would kind of see little signs of infidelity. When I would bring it to his attention, he would use any and all tools he could to convince me that I was crazy or that what I was feeling was invalid or what I was seeing wasn't really there. From the beginning, I feel like I was manipulated and emotionally abused because for you to have feelings about something and someone to tell you they're not valid or you're crazy or you're insane, it's a form of abuse. You internalize it to a point where you're sick, you're depressed, you don't want to talk to people about your marriage. After I found out that I was pregnant with our son, my husband offered for me to stay home. And so, of course, I jumped at the opportunity to be with my son. I didn't realize at the time, however, that was also a form of control because I had to ask to use funds for certain things like personal items. I would have to trade sexual favors in order to get money, which of course had a detrimental impact on my self-esteem and my self-worth, which made me a little bit weaker than normally operated. I just felt so low because how can someone who claims to love you want you to basically sell your body to them? I was deeply depressed my entire pregnancy. I discovered it. My abuser's infidelity ended up leading to him fathering a child with someone outside of our marriage. It was the darkest place in my life. That emotional turmoil caused me to fall into some postpartum depression and some very dark thoughts of suicide, how I just didn't want to be here anymore, how no one could possibly hurt as bad as I was hurting at that very moment. But then I look at my son and I'm like, he's so perfect and he deserves so much. I had to pull myself together and figure out how I was going to fix this, which Fixing it really meant getting out of it. I was on the phone with my cousin and I told her, this is what's been going on. I just can't take anymore. I have got to go. And she said, you should call the Samaritan house. That's exactly what they're there for. I did not call then. I really regret that. I felt like, well, this service is more for women who are battered, or this is more like domestic violence physically, but you don't have to be physically abused for it to be abuse. And so it took me a long time to come to that realization, but when I did and I called the Samaritan house, the moment someone answered the phone, they're so receptive, kind, and nurturing. I knew that these people were there to help me. When I left my abuser, Samaritan House put me up in a hotel for about a week. They provided food for us. They even provided pull-ups and wipes for my son. They help you with transportation. And then they're like, okay, well, we've got a space that's opened up in a shelter, which of course made me think, okay, we're going to a huge gym with cots and blankets and strangers. But it was not, it was a beautifully furnished house where there were other women who had similar stories to mine. And for a long time, I thought I was alone. But with the Samaritan House, you're not. You're not alone at all. Like, everyone there is invested in your success. My intake coordinator was Brandy, who also happened to become my caseworker. Everyone that I've spoken with from the Samaritan House has been wonderful. I have nothing but amazing things to say. Today, I can honestly say I am just loving life and living it to the fullest. I am working. I am loving on my baby. I am happy. 
I would like to say that if you're unsure if what you're experiencing is abuse and you're not sure exactly where to turn to, call this Marin House. Somebody there can definitely help you. It's just an amazing program and I cannot say enough positive things about it. And I can't even begin to tell you how thankful I am for this program because I don't know where I would be had it not been for the Samaritan House. Wow, thank you for sharing your incredible story with us tonight, Kenya. I'm so glad Samaritan House was able to connect you with a great case manager who assisted you with that emergency shelter, securing a job, housing, and all of the services you'll need to start thriving in your new life. Now, much like Kenya, many victims of domestic violence don't often see the signs until it's too late. Abuse is when one person exhibits behaviors to gain and maintain power and control over another. Now, Kenya began to recognize the financial abuse she was experiencing as her husband slowly began to control her finances, limiting access to personal income and even more. Now, abuse can include physical or sexual, verbal or emotional, mental and psychological, and even financial and economic, as well as cultural abuse. Over 43 million women have experienced psychological aggression by an intimate partner in their lifetime. Samaritan House staff is trained to help clients fleeing any form of abuse, as well as educating the community through its education department on healthy relationships and how to identify signs of abuse. Now, Samaritan House helped 489 individuals with victim advocacy services. That was just in 2020. And as you've seen, Samaritan House is a much needed resource here in our community. So if you've not done so yet, please text SAM to 50155. Donate right now online at SamaritanHouseVA.org or pick up the phone and call 757-631-0710. All the show support for victims like Jenna, Shannon, and Kenya, and even hundreds more like them. Now stay with us because after the break, we'll chat with Patricia Richardson and a very special guest. You might remember from one of our favorite TV shows growing up, Home Improvement. That's coming up, stay with us. I became involved with Samaritan House back in the early 2000s when my parents were both there ill. This door made with layers of wood, locks and bolts, meant to keep us safe and the evil away did the opposite. Every time I tried to leave this door, I couldn't until I walked through the door of Samaritan House. They helped us feel safe and find a new door. It's likely that domestic violence affects someone you know and love. Support victims by texting SAM to 50155 or visit SamaritanHouseVA.org. Save your money for the things that matter by paying no closing costs. Refinance your mortgage with Langley and we will lower your monthly payment. Give yourself more money for your future engineer. With Langley, save more when you refinance your mortgage. At Newport News Shipbuilding, we're proud to be part of the Hampton Roads community and proud to support Samaritan House. Newport News Shipbuilding, a division of Huntington Ingalls Industries. never stop. This is your time to be essential, to be unstoppable. Tidewater Tech trains men and women for essential trades careers. Visit TideTechWorks.com. We're excited to be here on behalf of GFL's Full Circle Project to present this $10,000 check to the Samaritan House. We're excited to be able to continue to be a partner with you all. On behalf of Samaritan House, I want to thank you all for your continued support year after year.
Welcome back to Love Shouldn't Hurt. We'd like to thank Langley Federal Credit Union for making this evening possible, as well as GFL Environmental and Loan Depot. Now, we have a very special guest tonight who would like to join us in our conversation with a focus on sexual assault. Please help me in welcoming Patricia Richardson, best known for her role as the mother on home improvement. Hi, I'm Pat Richardson, you may know me as Patricia Richardson. Um, I do some television. Um, I became involved with Samaritan House back in the early 2000s when my parents were both there ill and going through horrible, horrible health situations for many years, unfortunately for them. And uh, my Aunt Kay, Uncle Phil, and cousin Jeff live in Virginia Beach. And I learned through them that they were helping women who were in a position not unlike I've experienced myself, only worse. Um, we started, my family and I started helping Jeff help Samaritan House. Uh, we gave them uh, my father's car when we had to stop him from driving, which was a nightmare. Um, uh, we gave them the, the, my mother's lovely yellow chintz furniture, which used to be in their family room and, and then became part of the intake room at Samaritan House this many years ago. I don't know if it's still there. Um, and then they created Pat's Place, which was wonderful of them to do um, when they were trying to start that room that gives clothes and toys and kitchen things, that, everything that someone might need when they have to leave their home with nothing. I'm trying to get a few people from my sexual harassment committee in Los Angeles, where I'm president of the sag after union there. Uh, we have about 82,000 members and some very wonderful um, local officers and board members, such as Caitlin Dulaney, who I've asked to come and speak to you today. Caitlin is a Harvey Weinstein survivor. Hi, my name is Caitlin Dulaney. I am an actress, a Me Too advocate, and a survivor of sexual assault. I spoke out against Harvey Weinstein in the fall of 2017 when the Me Too movement was first taking hold. I am here tonight to offer my support to all survivors of sexual assault. I am honored to be a part of this evening and to support the Samaritan House in their work. I want survivors to know that I understand, we all do, how difficult it is to speak of what happened, how difficult it is to seek help, and how scary it is to step out of a difficult and abusive situation and look for hope and help. I offer my love and my support to all who are on that journey. And I am so grateful to call myself a survivor alongside all of you. Thank you. I want to express my admiration to all the survivors and to their helpers. Um, when I was being raised, it was, you know, if you're in trouble, look for helpers. Um, you found them. And, and I hope that tonight you all are sharing with each other um, both the joy of this courage that it took for the survivors to do what they did and the generosity of the helpers for giving their time and love and care uh, to people who needed it. Um, thank you so much to everyone. And thank you for asking me to, to come and speak to you tonight because this is a, an issue that's important to me. Again, congratulations. This is a wonderful organization and you have much to celebrate. Thank you so much for your incredible insight, Patricia, and thank you for standing up for victims of sexual assault around the world. Now, if you haven't already done so, please take a moment and support the vital work of Samaritan House. You can text SAM to 50155, donate online, SamaritanHouseVA.org, or call 757-631-0710, and please help show your support. Save your money for the things that matter by paying no closing costs. Refinance your mortgage with Langley and we will lower your monthly payment. 
give yourself more money for your future engineer. With Langley, save more when you refinance your mortgage. We're excited to be here on behalf of GFL's Full Circle Project to present this $10,000 check to the Samaritan House. We're excited to be able to continue to be a partner with you all. On behalf of Samaritan House, I want to thank you all for your continued support year after year. At Newport News Shipbuilding, we're proud to be part of the Hampton Roads community and proud to support Samaritan House. Newport News Shipbuilding, a division of Huntington Ingalls Industries. What are you going to do with your life? Do what you like. Do what you love. Do what's important to you. Do the things others don't. Dream about what's right for me and we and us. Then go do it. And know that we are here to listen, to understand, and turn your do into done. Dollar Bank. Let's get you there. Praise never stop. This is your time to be essential, to be unstoppable. Tidewater Tech trains men and women for essential trades careers. Visit TideTechWorks.com. This door, made with layers of wood, locks, and bolts, meant to keep us safe and the evil away, did the opposite. Every time I tried to leave this door, I couldn't until I walked through the door of Samaritan House. They helped us feel safe and find a new door. It's likely that domestic violence affects someone you know and love. Support victims by texting SAM to 50155 or visit SamaritanHouseVA.org. Welcome back. We hope you learned a lot from tonight's special presentation. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors for this evening, including Langley Federal Credit Union. All right, so it is not too late for you to support this incredible cause. I urge you right now to text SAM, S-A-M, to 50155. You can also donate online, SamaritanHouseVA.org, or pick up that phone one last time and call 757-631-0710. These are all ways that you could show your support. We'd like to take the time to thank all of our guests for sharing their stories and inspiring us with their courage and their tenacity. And most of all, we wanna thank you, the viewers, for joining us and making this all possible.